Hi, and welcome back to Temple Baptist Church Online Devotion. I'm glad that you're with me today. Today I'm continuing my study through the book of Zephaniah, one of the Old Testament prophets. And uh, Zephaniah, a lot of people get that confused with Zechariah, but those are two separate um, Old Testament books. And Zephaniah today, what we're looking at is in chapter 2, verses 1 through 3, and the title of today's devotion is God's Call to Repentance. Let me read this passage to you. It says, Gather yourselves together, yes, gather together, O undesirable or shameless nation. Before the decree is issued, or the day passes like chaff, before the Lord's fierce anger comes upon you, before the day of the Lord's anger comes upon you, seek the Lord, all you meek of the earth, who have upheld his justice. Seek righteousness, seek humility. It may be that you will be hidden in the day of the Lord's anger. And so when we look at this, we recognize that if you've been following along, that God is pronouncing judgment upon the people. There is a semi-revival going on in the land, but the people truly hadn't turned their hearts toward God. They hadn't given their all in seeking after him. And so now God is calling for um, the Israelites as well as all of the other nations to repent. Repentance means to turn. Repentance is the um, turning from a direction that you're going and going the opposite or the reverse way. The concept is, is that the way that you're going is a hazardous way a way that leads to unrighteousness from God's perspective. And God's call to repentance is a call to turn and go back toward him in a way that leads toward holiness and righteousness. In this particular passage, we see that this call of God for repentance by all mankind is a universal call, not only to the nation, but to all of humanity. He says, gather yourselves together. Yes, gather together, O undesirable nation. So he's talking there about Israel, but his perspective in delivering this message through the prophet Zephaniah is that all of the nations, all of the people across the world have sinned. And so God is calling all of the people to repentance. Likewise, Peter called people to repentance after his preaching on the day of Pentecost in the book of Acts chapter 2, people cried out to him, what must we do? And Peter said, repent every one of you and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. So repent and identify with Jesus Christ. Trust in him for your salvation. Here, God's call is for universal repentance. And it's a call to seek him. He says in verse 3, Seek the Lord, all you meek of the earth, who have upheld his justice. Seek righteousness, seek humility. And so there were some whose hearts were um, seeking after God, and God is saying to them, Seek me, seek even more. And so this is a call to seek the Lord. This is also a, go- a call um, to honor and to please the Lord. And so here he says to seek righteousness and to seek humility. Those would be the things that would be pleasing to God. And then finally, this is a call to escape his righteous anger, his judgment, and his punishment. He closes this passage out by saying, it may be that you will be hidden in the day of the Lord's anger. We know going forth that the New Testament talks about a day in which Christ will return and take his church away before the ultimate um, judgment of God comes upon the face of the earth. Um, We call that day the rapture, and we call that time the tribulation period. And God's call is a call to repentance, for men to repent, to turn from themselves, to turn toward God, and to turn to belief in Jesus Christ. We hope that you have put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ. If you've not, then you should contact our office here at Temple Baptist Church and let us walk you through the steps 
necessary for you to experience God's salvation. If you don't have a church home, come and visit us here. We'd love to help you grow in your relationship with Christ. We have services on Sunday at 8 a.m., 10 a.m., and 6 p.m., and we'd love for you to make a visit. God bless you. Tune in again next time as we continue our study in Zephaniah.